Let's take a look at what's new in assemblies in SOLIDWORKS 2018. We'll just go ahead and open up this sub-assembly. Here we've begun a linear pattern. So I want to pattern this tree arm normal to this face and I want a total of six instances. So nothing new at this stage. However, if we go into the linear pattern dialog box, there is a new tick box available to us called rotate instances. If I toggle that on, I'm then prompted to select an axis of rotation. At that point, it will rotate each instance by the amount specified within the angle dialog box here. So we'll just change that and press OK. So that will be good for many applications, one being spiral staircases. Switching back to the main assembly, we'll just go ahead and open up this hob assembly. I'll invoke my make command. And what I want to do here is select the underside of that burner to make to the plate on the hob. However, I can't see it at this particular moment in time. So that would mean that I would need to either rotate my model round or perhaps on the right click use the select other command to get to the underside face. New within the 2018 release is a keyboard shortcut to help us hide faces away when mating. Simply tap on the Alt key and the face you're hovering over will disappear. You can always bring the faces back again by hitting the escape tool. So I'll just very quickly select that underside face and then mate it to this surface like so. Spinning the model around, we have the pins in the burner which we want to mate to the holes in the plate. So I'll make the first one concentric here. And we can see from the preview that the second one won't align concentrically. However, I'm going to try and create a concentric mate and we'll see what happens. So as I create the concentric mate, I'm now presented with this new dialog box, which will allow me to create a misaligned mate. So it will solve the mate concentrically, but with a misalignment and a deviation in this case of one millimeter from center. If we go over to the property manager, we can choose which one of those pins are misaligned like so, or if we want an equal amount of misalignment between both pins, we can set the misalignment to symmetric. We'll find then that both mates are misaligned with a deviation of 0.5 millimeters. You can set up what you want your maximum deviation to be, and should you exceed that maximum deviation, SOLIDWORKS will throw up an error. The maximum deviation can be set either in the document properties or uniquely for each mate that you create. If we look at the mates folder, any misaligned mates that we have created will go in their own unique folder called misaligned. We can also remove the misalignment to get it to solve normally uh, if we wish to. The ability to create misaligned mates is optional and can be set within the document properties. Switching to another assembly, a common part of creating an assembly is creating an exploded view for your drawing. I would imagine most people are familiar with this process and I have a pre-created exploded view within this file. The next step would be to create your explode line sketch. This historically has been a very manual process by selecting the component, selecting its position where it's come from and getting the system to draw a line in between those locations for you. However, within the 2018 release, we can now just click on the exploded view and generate smart explode lines. At this point, it will automatically draw lines for you from the component's home position to either its bounding box center, its component origin, or a selected point on that particular model. If we just zoom in on these screws, I want to change it from the bounding box center to a selected point. So I'll grab hold of the end point of the line and just drop it on the edge like so. If we review the property manager on the left hand side, we can see the hex cap screw has been selected and its reference point is now the edge that I dropped it on. Now I'd like to do that for all of these screws. Rather than having to drag and drop each individual line, we can apply the change to all the component instances at the click of a button. Press OK. And that's our explode line sketch done. Nice, clean and simple. So going back to the PowerPoint, 
We've seen a new option to rotate with the linear pattern command. We can use the Alt key to hide faces during mating. We have a new option to create misaligned mates and we have smart explode lines. Our next video is on magnetic mates. Thank mm -hmm. you.